It is a truly amazing time to be a worship leader who uses tracks on stage. With sites like Praise Charts, Loop Community, Multitracks, and apps like Ableton Live Prime and Playback, there's never been a better time because there's more resources and content to help equip your team really than ever before. But with all that content, all the content available to you, it's overwhelming. You don't know where to go. You don't know where to get your content or what each site offers. So today we're wrapping up our three-part series where we look at Loop Community Multitracks and Today Praise Charts site to talk about the different resources they have available. And specifically when we're talking about stems and performing on stage with stems and multitracks, um, what's the best content that we should download? Which version of our file, which format of our file should we download? So uh, if you want to see the previous um, two videos, both walking through Loop Community and Multitracks, uh, then click the link in the description in this video. But let's dive into the Praise Chart site. Now, Praise Charts is known for incredible charts. Um, there are so many charts available, you'll see here in just a second. Today, I'm working with the song Battle Belongs by Phil Wickham. Uh, first thing I want to point out is you go to the, the product page. They, they make it simple. They, they try not to overwhelm you, which uh, Praise Charts does a great job of that. But if you click this, it says, see all 30 products. That's that's crazy that there's 30 products available for this. So it's easy to get overwhelmed, but um, again, they break it up pretty well. I think they do a really good job of offering a lot, but trying to not uh, overwhelm you. So let's click see all products. First thing you'll notice is sheet music. There's so many different types of sheet music, finale files, piano sheet, uh, a piano vocal, uh, simple just kind of chord and lyrics, stage chart, which is kind of a cool thing they have, um, as well as orchestration. So Obviously, if you're a church that has a uh, choir, has uh, orchestra, uh, has woodwinds, a uh, horn section, whatever, you're probably getting your content from praise charts anyway. Uh, and so you can get all your different charts and everything here. If you're doing that, it makes sense then to get your multi-tracks here as well, too. We'll come back to this and talk about it in a second, because that's the main focus of this. But then you'll notice on uh, some of the songs for praise charts, they have song patches as well, too. Uh, electric guitar preset pack um, that includes uh, all these different uh, fractal line six presets, which is cool. Uh, as well as this main stage uh, patch that you could use uh, for Battle Belongs, which is cool. But today, I really want to focus on the stems, the multi-tracks content, the content you could download and use um, uh, to perform with your band. So uh, the first one we have here is accompaniment track. So this is obviously the cheapest at five ninety five. I guess accompaniment track, click track, and rhythm track are all kind of tied. Um, accompaniment track is not something you want to buy if you want to perform with your band on stage. If you really, if you want to perform with this song, uh, an accompaniment track is, is not going to be incredibly helpful to you because there's no click, there's no guide. Um, Praise Charts has something similar to an accompaniment track with no click and guide, but they try to make it easy for you to perform with. We'll talk about in a second. Another thing I should mention is at the, um, after we walk through all these, I'm going to actually download these file types uh, so that you could see what you get with each purchase of, uh, of content from Praise Starts. But accompaniment track really is just what it is. You know, you're, you're familiar if you've been in church with an accompaniment track uh, for a while. Uh, it's the idea of someone singing a solo, doing a special song, maybe using for a kid's ministry where no one plays an instrument, but you have some great worship leaders, great vocalists, uh, great volunteers that want to help. You could buy an accompaniment track for them. You don't have to have an instrument to lead worship with it, and you don't have to have click and guide or in-ears to, to perform with it live. So that's what an accompaniment track is. Next is rhythm track, and rhythm track is kind of interesting and unique. This will really make sense um, when we download and look at these file types, but rhythm track is made uh, it's kind of the accompaniment track, but it's made with removing some of the instrumentation so that you could play a rhythmic instrument with it, really an acoustic guitar um, or a, a like rhythmic piano. So what you'll see when you download the file is um, you can you know pull piano from that. You'll get a version that uh, adds piano in, a, a version that adds uh, guitar in, and then a version that uh, is kind of uh, missing the rhythm that you can add in with your acoustic uh, or your piano. But then what's nice about this is they do it in a way that you don't have to have click and guide. So let's say, you know, accompaniment track is the lowest level uh, of kind of buy-in with uh, someone that's just singing. They're not playing an instrument, but they're great at leading worship. They're a great volunteer. They're faithful. Accompaniment track is what we want. Then next you have someone who um, is a starter musician or, you know, maybe they're an accomplished musician, but in this particular setup, we don't have click and guide because uh, we don't have in-ears. So we can't use click and guide. We don't have in-ears. So we can't use click and guide. Uh, and so for them, uh, then it's very possible that we would 
purchase a rhythm track. Now, next, uh, Prey Starts has something called Click Track, and Click Track is um, essentially a um, a split track is the best way to think of that. All of our content on the right, and we have click and guide. So uh, if you think of accompaniment track and click track, they're the same thing, but uh, accompaniment track is stereo content, both on the left and right, without click and guide. Click track is everything that was in the accompaniment track squeezed to the right-hand side and click and guide added to the left. Click and cues, click and guide added to the left. Next, and in price as we kind of increase, next is our multi-track light file. And you'll see this when we download it. Um, what's nice about this is this is basically uh, a multi-track session, but really with just the things you could add to your full band. So let's say you got a drummer, a bassist, a guitar player, acoustic guitar player, piano player, but you just need some of the sparkle, some of the extra stuff to supplement your band. Uh, Praise Charts allows you to get that at a, a cheaper price point by purchasing a multi-track light. And that comes with click and guide, so you can play with that but add those extra elements on top, which is great. And then finally, you get a multi-track wave stems. And so this is similar to a multi-track from Loop Community and multi-track from uh, multitracks.com. Uh, most of the content on Praise Charts is a recreation of it. It's similar to Loop Community if they don't have a master track. It's not uh, typically the master recording. It's a recreation of it. But again, as I mentioned in my Praise Charts walkthrough, um, it's well done. It, you know, it's it's not like uh, bad content. It's really well produced uh, and a good version of that. And so uh, those are our main formats. So if you're really looking for stems and the most separation, get a multi-track. If you're you're strapped on budget and you just you have a full band, you're not going to need the drum stems, not going to need the bass stem. You just want the sparkle, the extra stuff, the the icing uh, on top. Then get the multi-track light. Uh, if you're performing on stage and you want click and guide on the left, and then you want to play with the full track on the right, then get a click track. Um, if you are in a situation where you want to play an instrument on top but can't have in ears uh, and can't use click and guide, then get a rhythm track. And then finally. If you're a worship leader who is just uh, doesn't play an instrument, you're just singing, you don't use click and guide, uh, then you would want to check out the accompaniment track. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to go and purchase this content. Uh, we're going to download it, and then we're going to take a look at, once everything's downloaded, the different file formats and types of content available that Praise Charts offer, offers, and then we'll kind of do a recap at the end. So I'll be right back. Okay, so all my files have downloaded. I've got a lot of content from Praise Starts. Let's talk about everything we have here. So first, let's start over here. This is our accompaniment track. So if I open this up, this says band track, but this is our accompaniment track. And if we listen to this, then what we get is we get um, uh, tracks on the left and right, right? Um, and I'll turn this on so you guys can hear this. Uh, we don't get click and guide. You won't hear that. Right, but you hear content on the left and right side of this again. The accompaniment track is what we would use if um, we were just going to sing to this and we didn't have in ears and we weren't playing an instrument. So that's what we have there. Uh, next thing I want to look at is our rhythm track. So actually, let's back up. Let's go to our click track here. So click track, what Prey Starts calls a, a click track is essentially a split track. So it's the same thing as the accompaniment track, but we take everything and move it to the right. And on the left hand side is our click, right? Uh, and so this is helpful if you want everything kind of mixed down. Uh, you have two outputs, you want everything mixed down and you want just click and guide on the left, uh, click and cues, then uh, you would get the click track here. Uh, the next version I want to look at is the rhythm track. And so rhythm track um, essentially means that uh, we get a couple different things. So let's go to this main one here that just says rhythm. Okay, and if I listen to this, what it is is essentially my song file. Uh, you'll hear that's actually let's listen to the intro to this this is a good example listen for the uh yeah the symbol three four so it is essentially like the uh, accompaniment track but there's a little bit extra from the drums and it's made to be played with um uh, for like a small retreat or somewhere where you don't have in ears but you're playing an instrument acoustic um, or piano, something that's rhythmic, rhythmic, you want to play with it, but you can't use a click and guide. So a rhythm track doesn't include a, a click and guide, but um, the drums always kind of count you in or it keeps hi-hat going or, or ride going, uh, which is super great. Then in addition to that, we get this file, which this is a uh, rhythm acoustic. So uh, you hear... There you go, you can hear it. We have uh, acoustic guitar added in there. So if I'm playing piano and I want rhythm in there, I could have that. Or if I'm playing acoustic and I want piano added in, 
there. You can kind of hear the piano diamonding on those chords. Uh, then I get that with the rhythm version. So rhythm track is something unique uh, that Praise Starts does that I think is super helpful. Again, um, for me, a couple scenarios I could think of, if I'm on a retreat and we got a sound system and it's a big enough group of people where we've got a decent sound system. Um, I'm leading worship playing acoustic or uh, a volunteer is leading worship playing acoustic or piano. Um, I could use a praise charts rhythm track without having to deal with in ears. I just listen to the drummer as they're counting me in on the track uh, and follow along, which is, which is super great and super helpful. So we've talked about accompaniment track. Uh, we have talked about our rhythm track. We've talked about our click track, which is essentially a split track. Now let's look uh, here. Okay. And this is our multi-track light. And I really want to compare multi-track light to our full multi-track. So what we get, we do get click. Okay. So there's our click file. Uh, we do get cues. So you'll hear that crank in here in just a second. Uh, Intro. There we go. And then you get a uh, synth percussion pad uh, organ. Uh, what else do we have here? Claps. So this depends slightly on the song, but this is basically everything that's not core instrumentation. And by that, I would mean drums, bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, piano. The thought is, again, you you have that core band and you just grab this and just kind of add this on top. And so because you've got clicking cues and you've got these core kind of extra things, uh, it makes it just really simple to kind of integrate that with your band. Now, finally, if you want the most separation, you want the most flexibility, then that's where we're going to purchase our full multi-track. So I purchased the full multi-track for Battle Belongs. Similar to our light version, we get our click track here, we get cues, but then we get our core instrumentation. So drums, electric guitar, this kind of depends on um, uh, uh, which, uh, what song it, you know, what the song is, what it has in it. But you see organ, pad is included, percussion, piano, synth, uh, acoustic guitar, bass, you know, uh, uh, there's our claps thing. So essentially with the multi-track, we get what we had in multi-track light plus all our core instrumentation. If you want the most flexibility, you want the most ability to create your own version of this, to chop up songs, to choose which parts you want to use live, then you should purchase the multi-track. Um, if you're strapped on budget and you just need some of the extra stuff and you've got a really solid core band, then you should purchase the multi-tracks light version of that, which is great. I, I like that they offer that. That's a great, great product that Pray Starts offers. Um, now, if you find yourself in a situation where you're leading worship with an instrument, a rhythmic instru instrument, acoustic or piano, uh, and you don't have click and guide, it's a smaller setup. It's a, a kind of training ground for someone that's just starting to lead worship. Um, then you want to get the rhythm track. Uh, if you are using click and guide and you want to have a full band play along with that, um, or maybe you're leading worship and you want click and guide as well too, you can get their click track, which is essentially a split track. And then again, finally, if you're someone who's not playing an instrument, and leading worship, you don't have in ears, you, you, you're not going to be able to use click and guide, then you would get an accompaniment track and just um, sing on top of that. Now, again, if you're downloading content, the best thing you should get is a multi-track that gives you the most freedom and flexibility. But once you get that, you're going to need to format it and you're going to need to drag that formatted song into a, an Ableton Live set to build it uh, and use on stage with your band. And the best way to do that is you're going to need a template. And so head to from studio to stage.com slash template. That's where you can get my free tracks template. You can download it completely for free. Um, and you can format your songs and you can build a set with it. And then from there, I have free training content that shows you how to do that with content from um, from Prey Starts. In fact, this exact song, Battle Belongs, I'll show you how to format that using the, uh, the free tracks template. And then eventually a five-part series uh, where I walk you through how to use that formatted content in a set. So make sure you download that template. And if you like this content, if you're a worship leader who uses tracks on stage, uh, then make sure you hit subscribe and you're going to learn how to run tracks like a pro with Ableton Live. Hit subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content every single day at 10 a.m. Central. Something new is coming out. So you don't want to miss it. So hit that bell, uh, uh, bell icon so that you're notified as soon as it goes live. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one, 10 a.m. Central. Take care. Bye.